Hi friends, welcome to the tutorial series on importing data in a Python. So in this tutorial, we are going to see about how to read a very simple plain text file. So let's see about what are the different kinds of plain text file are available. There are some plain text file which has a completely unstructured way of written all data. There are some other kind of plain text file which consists of all kind of structured data in a tabular format. So if you see this very simple file, it has just written a sequence of character inside that. But there is no structure exists between the data. If you see another kind of file, which is nothing but the flat file, it consists of all data in a tabular format in a form of text file. So in this tutorial, we are going to see about how one can read this kind of file with the help of Python open function. So how to read this kind of file in a Python? There are two ways to do it actually. You can straight away use a Python open function, which will give the two argument as an input. One is the file name where you need to give exit or the relative path of your file name. And there is another argument, which is nothing but the mode. Mode indicates nothing but how you want to operate on the file. If you supply R, that means you want to just read the file you do not want to modify, edit or update those files. If you want to open into the blue mode, that is nothing but the right mode. You want to update, edit or modify those kind of files. So this is the one way you can open file in a Python programming language. But in this case, explicitly, once you open this file, you have to close also those kind of uh, files. So explicit closing of those file will be required. And those things we are going to see in an actual Python programming environment. That is another way you can use with the help of context manager. The same open function you can use, but with the help of context manager, there is no need to close those kind of file. Now, these are the two ways. Once you open this file, you will have a file variable. This is nothing but this file variable is directly pointing to the hard disk or a RAM where exactly your file has been resides. So let's do dive into actual the coding part of the Python programming language. And we are going to read the same file. I have explicitly created this file. I'm going to show you those file and we will use this open function to read those file as a whole file or as a line by line reading with the help of context manager and with without help of the context manager and one way where explicit closing is required there is another way there is no explicit closing is required because this context manager is going to take care this closing of file automatically for us so let's start so i am going to use this spider id that is nothing but the part of anaconda distribution and we are going to write the whole our code in this importing data into python.py file and this is my working directory where the working directory i have already kept one simple plain text file and this is the console where i python console we are going to use and one by one i will try to execute all those commands here so let's see what this news.txt file contains so if i open this news.txt file it has just a sequence of uh, written a character so i have taken some stories from the internet and i have pasted it here so there are total seven lines are there and it is situated at the same place where my python program resides. so let's dive into coding part so we are going to use this simple open function and where we are going to supply first argument as a file name so this is a news.txt and another argument we are going to supply as a we want to read this file that's why we are going to use the r mode as this course is all about importing data we are not going to modify or update the data that's why we are opening this file into r mode that is nothing but the read mode and we will assign it to the file variable now to execute this part you can straight away execute this whole file in this spider id or rather than you can just select it and put control enter so it will just paste it here and it will create this file variable for us and this file variable is nothing but it is just pointing to your hard disk memory location where your exit news.txt file resides 
now we will apply this file dot read function on the top of file variable and let's just read it okay so it has read the whole file for us so the same file which we have just open why infrastructure is so expensive a subway diagram of the major roman road so those thing it has read and it has printed for us so this is where one can read the file but there is one command you can apply on the top of it to see whether file is actually closed or not so i'll just so if you see it has given us the false that means file has not been closed because it won't be automatically closed for us now let's apply the file dot close function on the top of it and then again recheck whether file has been closed or not okay so it has successfully executed dot close function on the top of file now let's uh, again check this file dot close okay so it has written us through that means file has been explicitly closed by us so you can straight away use this open function and you just supply the file name and a mode in which you want to operate your file mostly we are going to use this reading mode and you can apply this read method to actually read the file and print on the console so that is the one way of reading the file now let's try for the another way so we are going to see the another way to deal with okay now the second way of reading this file i have told you that we are going to use the same open function but with the help of context manager so inside that context manager only this file variable will reside in that case so we'll use this with function and after that the same argument we are going to apply news.txt and mode we are going to use that is nothing but the reading mode r and we will give the alias name as file afterwards let's just do print now whole file read as a file variable here so we can apply all matter on the top of this file variable and that is nothing but we are going to use this read line function let's see read line so that will just read very first line if you want to read even a second line in this context manager only you can print this statement file dot read line now let's just print it okay so it has printed a two line for us the very first line of this news.txt file which is nothing but a why infrastructure is so expensive and a second one is a subway style uh, line but here you can see you do not require explicit closing of those uh, file this context manager has done all those work for us automatically so this is the two way you can straight away read this very plain text file and that's it about this lecture friends uh, in the next lecture we are going to see about how one can read this flat file acronym for the dot csv and a dot tsv kind of file so that's it for this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't understood anything please 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 write it to comment and please do subscribe to support my channel